Namaste guys, Ashish here from Namaste Tech. And in this video, we're going to tell you how you can get guest-based navigation on any stock Android phone, which includes Nokia phones, even the Asus Zenfone Max Pro M2, or OnePlus, which have got almost stock Android experience. Right now, what you get after the Pi update is kind of guest-based, but you still have this navigation bar here, which is doing the job for you. This is not something we were actually looking for when we thought the navigation, guest-based navigation would come to the Android phones. So let's begin with the video and just that you're here for the first time, do hit the subscribe button below and the bell icon so that when we make a tip, you get the notification first. Let's begin with it. So this video has got two parts. The first part is installing an application. The second part is where we are going to use an ABD tool for Android to grant special permission. So you are not going to root your phone at all. So don't worry about that. So you need to go to Play Store and look for this application that's called as Fluid Navigation Gesture. It works on any stock Android phone and can work with a root access or special permission. The process we are using here is special permission. Now that you have this app installed on your phone, the next thing we are going to do is go to settings, system, then we'll go to advanced, we'll go to about phone and look for build number. Tap on this build number until you get developer mode. And once you have the developer mode, go to developer option and then look for USB debugging. There you go, that's the option. Turn this on. Next, follow the link in the description and download this ADB tool on your Mac or Android. It works on both. Download it, rename the folder to ADB and put it on somewhere where you can go easily from a command prompt. Next, connect your phone through your USB cable with the PC or the Mac. And if you get a prompt where it says, allow permission to access files and all. So give that permission. Next, execute this command, which you are showing on the screen to give special permission for this app. If you notice clearly, this is permission being given only to this app. When you execute that command, you will get a prompt on your phone where it says, allow the connection to the device, remember it. So just say yes, nothing will happen to your phone. So everything is good. Once you do that, come back to your phone and launch this application and tap on enable. When you do it for the first time, you will have to give it a permission so that it can draw over other apps. It's called as accessibility permission, which is available on your phone. So if you go to accessibility, you can see we have got fluid navigation gesture here. Tap on this and you can see it's turned on. So when I did it for the first time, it actually asked me, got me here, got the permission and went back to the app. So we'll go back. And then you enable the hide navigation bar option. So what it will do is it will hide the navigation bar, which came with the Pi update. Now Pi update got us a good navigation bar, but like I was saying before, it didn't give a gesture base really. You still have buttons, you still have back button. Still that part of the screen is, uh, you know, taken by a navigation bar and we really didn't want it that. We wanted an iPhone like gesture. So with this, it's gone. But remember one thing, do not uninstall the app without enabling it back again. Otherwise you will have a problem. So once done that, we'll see what it can do. So we'll hit, so the gesture is up and hold and you get a multitasking option. Now to go back, you swipe up on the left side and you are back. To access your quick setting or action center notification panel, you swipe up and you get it. So that's how it works. So we'll go back to the application again. And when you go to actions, you can see you have got these options for the what you want to do for the left edge, what you want on the right edge, and what kind of uh, bottom edge actions you need here. 
so you can configure all those settings here apart from that you've got triggers as well where you can manage the sensitivity of vibration size and all those things that you can configure here then you also have more options where you can change themes we've got fingerprint sensor gesture so you can change few things here but for normal user this is enough what we have is actually enough you have got a pro version here which you can unlock and do all those things now what i've really found about using this app is it's good it works but sometimes uh, it's it, it really doesn't work the way it should be like you know i need to this back button especially is a bit tricky because it doesn't do what i really want to do so for example i'll just go to this app here um i go back sometimes it's glitchy over here but nevertheless it works so guys that was all about how you can enable gesture based navigation on any phone which runs on stock android it can be your zenfone max pro m2 it can be oneplus there's a special setting for oneplus have a look at that as well and that's how it works so if you did like the video do hit the like button share it with your friends who have got stock android nokia phones which don't have a gesture based navigation and they want it right away this app just works without root so guys thanks for watching